This is Bolesh again and today I'm going to show you how you can use splines with joints. So to do this I'm going to need to use an arc but you can pretty much use any spline you want and I want this to go from minus 90 degrees to zero and then I will make it a table and uh, use the coordinate system so I can put the axis center to the first point and you can check this in the structure manager and uh, after that what I want to do is I want to use the subdivision and then I can use uh, character commands uh, conversion spline to joints and uh, as you can see I have uh, nine points here and uh, also I have nine joints so basically I have the same number of spline as joints so what I can do here is I can uh, group this and uh, say this is a joint and then use uh, Expresso and what I want to do here is I want to use a hierarchy and I want this hierarchy to be this joint and I want it to go start by going down one and then iterate uh, down so after that I'm going to need to use a point node and uh, a point operator and use that arc as a an object and what I want to do of course is I want my joints to control the spline and to do this I'm going to need to adjust the point position and what I also want is I want the joint and uh, I want uh, to set an object for it and as you can see this one doesn't have an index number so right now in the point operator you need an index and you know that you already have one because you use this hierarchy and it will output every every object uh, at uh, every frame so what you need to use here is the object index and uh, with this you will get the current uh, object index and then you can use that to adjust the point position and you also need the global position for this joint and uh, then if you made everything correctly you have a working sorry I yes it's good so you have a working joint system so what you can do here is you can use an ik tag and the end of the ik tag will be this joint and uh, we specify a goal and then what uh, should happen is that when you move this uh, move this uh, joint system the spline will follow and uh, if i disable this uh, what you will also see is that uh, this is very funny and this is because uh, or arc is uh, the type of a Bezier curve and what you can do here is choose linear and then choose Bezier again and you will have uh, a functioning one and of course uh, what happens here is that the joint system doesn't update the, the all of the spline point parameters so basically if you go to the structure you can see it's XYZ so this is the position points that we are updating and we don't really do anything with the left and right uh, easing so you can you can uh, use something like uh, clicking here and soft interpolation and other stuff but uh, of course when you update it it won't update so you need to update that every frame or you need to use another type like a cubic type and uh, you might want uh, adaptive or or nature point distribution so this is what we have just created of course and uh, what I wanted to show you how powerful this is by using a cloner and uh, what I also want to do here is to put that arc into the joint system and uh, now I can copy this whole joint system and then uh, uh, rename this to arc2 and what you will see is that it was being updated so you don't need to do anything with the expresso but now you have uh, two splines and two joint systems so what you can do here is to set another goal and uh, why I'm doing this? Because I want to show you what you can do with a cloner. So I will need to use both uh, of those arcs. And uh, I want to put it into a left nerves. And uh, also I want my cloner to go radially without any radius in the X and uh, Z axis. And uh, I'm going to loop my left object. And uh, as you think, as you can see right now, it's a, it's a very interesting uh, effect, and uh, you can use uh, um, very specific uh, things here. 
and uh, what I also wanted to show you is that uh, I'm going to delete this joint 1 and the arc 2 and then uh, of course um, you can use the tie case spline and set some dynamic options here and uh, then of course it will update on the on the goal so this is one thing you can create uh, for example and uh, you can you can do pretty neat stuff with this as you can see but also what you can do is you can still animate this arc so you can use something like a uh, formula effector on the on the arc and uh, of course you need to use point mode and uh, I don't want it to go uh, in any direction and of course the rotation uh, won't really work because uh, in point mode only the only the position thing works because uh, the other stuff are measured differently and uh, of course as you can see it instantly works so using this effector and then you can still animate the the out, out, uh, outer parameter so you can use uh, very interesting shapes and other stuff so this is this is uh, the quick tip about the joint system and the spine so thank you for listening have a nice day and goodbye